How to find the change from $50. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to calculate change from $50, if we give $50 to the shop cashier. Exercise 1. Jane is a cashier at a supermarket. A customer bought 14 items that cost $36.85 in total. He gave Jane a $50 note. How much change should Jane give the customer? First, write the numbers to be subtracted. In this case, it is $50 minus $36.85. Make sure the decimal points of the two numbers are aligned as shown. Here, we realize that the 10 cents and 1 cent values of the $50 is zero and is not enough to subtract the 85 cents. Therefore, we need to borrow from the 5 10 dollars by putting a slash. Now, we write 4 as the remaining 10 dollar value and 1 10 dollar is carried forward to the dollar position. Next, we need to borrow from the dollar position by putting a slash. Now, we write 9 as the remaining dollar value and $1 is carried forward to the 10 cents position. Next, we need to borrow from the 10 cents position by putting a slash. Now, we write 9 as the remaining 10 cents value and 1 10 cent is carried forward to the cents position. Now, we can do the subtraction. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 8 is 1. And $9 minus $6 is $3. Finally, 4 tens minus 3 tens equals 1 ten. The final answer is $13.15. Exercise 2. Tom owns a blog shop. A customer bought two handbags that costs $45.35 in total. She gave Tom $50. How much change should Tom return her? First, write the numbers to be subtracted. In this case, it is $50 minus $45.35. Make sure the decimal points of the two numbers are aligned as shown. Here, we realize that the 10 cents and 1 cent values of the $50 is zero, and is not enough to subtract the 35 cents. Therefore, we need to borrow from the 5 10 dollars by putting a slash. Now, we write 4 as the remaining 10 dollar value and 1 10 dollar is carried forward to the dollar position. Next, we need to borrow from the dollar position by putting a slash. Now, we write 9 as the remaining dollar value and $1 is carried forward to the 10 cents position. Next, we need to borrow from the 10 cents position by putting a slash. Now, we write 9 as the remaining 10 cents value and 1 10 cent is carried forward to the cents position. Now, we can do the subtraction. 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 3 is 6. And $9 minus $5 is $4. Finally, 4 tens minus 4 tens equals 0 10. The final answer is $4.65. Exercise 3. Linda is a chocolatier. She sold 10 pieces of artisan chocolates to Mabel who gave her $50. The chocolates costs $27.50. How much change should Linda give Mabel? First, write the numbers to be subtracted. In this case, it is $50 minus $27.50. Make sure the decimal points of the two numbers are aligned as shown. Here, we realize that the 10 cents values of the $50 is zero, and is not enough to subtract the 50 cents. Therefore, we need to borrow from the 5 10 dollars by putting a slash. Now, we write 4 as the remaining 10 dollar value and 1 10 dollar is carried forward to the dollar position. Next, 
we need to borrow from the dollar position by putting a slash. Now, we write 9 as the remaining dollar value and 1 dollar is carried forward to the 10 cents position. Now, we can do the subtraction. 0 minus 0 is 0. 10 minus 5 is 5. And $9 minus $7 is $2. Finally, 4 tens minus 2 tens equals 2 tens. The final answer is $22.50. Exercise 4. Alice walked into Watson's. She bought two bottles of shampoo and three tubes of toothpaste for $32.76. She gives the cashier a $50 note. How much change should the cashier return her? First, write the numbers to be subtracted. In this case, it is $50 minus $32.76. Make sure the decimal points of the two numbers are aligned as shown. Here, we realize that the 10 cents and 1 cent values of the $50 is 0, and is not enough to subtract the 76 cents. Therefore, we need to borrow from the 5 10 dollars by putting a slash. Now, we write 4 as the remaining 10 dollar value and 1 10 dollar is carried forward to the dollar position. Next, we need to borrow from the dollar position by putting a slash. Now, we write 9 as the remaining dollar value and $1 is carried forward to the 10 cents position. Next, we need to borrow from the 10 cents position by putting a slash. Now, we write 9 as the remaining 10 cents value and 1 10 cent is carried forward to the cents position. Now, we can do the subtraction. 10 minus 6 is 4. 9 minus 7 is 2. And $9 minus $2 is $7. Finally, 4 tens minus 3 tens equals 1 ten. The final answer is $17.24.